welcome to kamudi global hey if a cat crosses your path just sit down or stop your journey don't look at broken mirrors and what all don't get surprised these are some of the beliefs still many people follow what about these silly beliefs end up in cop webs of black magic kerala is popular for the literacy rate achieved and even the job security what took place in ilanthur ernakulam is proving that there are people who are still blind before black magic and superstitions the recent incident of human sacrifice that too unbelievably demonic has proved people could kill mercilessly cut them to 52 parts accused bhagavel singh laila and shafi who are equally involved in crime just took two women's lives in the name of gaining financial prosperity and to satisfy the main mastermind shafi's unending sexual desire can it be termed as killing it is nearly monstrous padma's breast was cut off and injured her private parts and the three accused are cannibals for sure how come these people prepare curry from victims flesh following a foolish man's advice as it is a puja's prasad two women padmam and rosli were sacrificed as part of black magic in a village in ilanthur patanamthitta district of kerala and three people including a couple were arrested in this connection the women were allegedly sacrificed by the accused to settle the financial issues of the couple and bring prosperity in their life who is the real culprit after constant updates on this case it is clear that one of the three accused mohammed shafi who disguised as a siddha was the master planner behind these merciless killing police declared shafi a notorious criminal money was not the only objective and he was an accused in many criminal cases before and is addicted to sexual perversion mohammed shafi he had brought the woman from kadavantra for a couple at ilanthur as said earlier bhagavil singh and his wife laila he told the couple that the solution to their problem was human sacrifice he also charged a huge sum of money from the couple on 6 june a resident of kaladi rosli was lured by shafi and taken to ilanthur it is suspected that bhagavil singh laila and shafi gave the human sacrifice together after shafi said that one more sacrifice is needed tamil nadu native padma was also lured and sacrificed their bodies were buried near the house of bhagavil singh this is not the first time that murders connected with witchcraft what we call as black magic murders have happened before in ilanthur the history of black magic murders is really horrifying starting from december 1981 a housewife named sofia was killed and buried by her husband and relatives in panamgutti iduki they committed the murder on the instructions of a sorcerer in tamil nadu the body was buried in the kitchen the accused were sentenced to life imprisonment next is july 1981 a class 9 student was brutally murdered by his father and sister for treasure in mundiyeruma they pierced the boy's eyes and nose six were sentenced to life imprisonment october 2012 two men named kristudas and antony were stabbed to death in puwar for questioning sorcery the two had questioned the accused after knowing that kristudas relative committed suicide due to black magic six accused were awarded a double life sentence july 2014 hasina a native of karunagapalli tarava died after being kicked by a sorcerer he was sirajuddin and was arrested august 2014 a pregnant woman named harsana died during witchcraft in ponnani 
the case is on trial. August 2018, a man named Kanat Krishnan, his wife Sushila and their two children were killed and buried by his assistant Anish in Vannapuram, Iduki. Anish, who believed that Krishnan had the power of 300 goats, killed him to steal his powers. He is currently on bail. March 2019, a young woman named Tushara was killed by a husband and mother-in-law in Karnagapalli on the instructions of a sorcerer. The family used to give Tushara only sugar water and soaked rice after listening to the sorcerer's words. She weighed 20 kilograms at the time of her death. The case is on trial. February 2021, a mother killed her six-year-old son by slitting his throat. The incident took place at Pudupalli Teriva in Palakkad. Mother Shahida revealed that she sacrificed her son for the pleasure of Allah. The case is on trial. However, it is surprising that nowadays those with education are also falling for fake astrologers and making wasteful payments. The greed and desires of modern man have increased the number of people who commercialize spirituality and try to take advantage of it. No one can do a ritual or black magic to help another person or is going to rescue you. If someone tries to convince you of that, make sure that it is for money only. People's superstitions cannot be changed by courts, police or any authorities. It must begin from one's heart. The Patanam Titta news is disturbing like what from yesterday. Only prayer is that let us not witness another heinous human sacrifice again. I am Shreya signing off. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.